by Beanie. Just... Red light has been activated. Ah! They're set. The gates have opened. Racing to the last. Deputano bustled out from the inside. Won the break. Out quickly also is Beanie, who's going to roll forward. Clever Kez is going to come over. And Mr. Kunif is up there travelling in fourth place through the first 250, being followed then by Bella Luciana. Over on the inside, Geograph Bay being followed by Nakoni's boy, who's outside of those, working three deep in the early part. Two lengths throw down. Scarlet Speedster and the favourite Picture perfect had found itself back there at the tail of the field when they went past the 1100. They swing out to the riverside of the course and Deputano led the way. He's attempting to slow it down a little. Deputano by one, Beanie second, Clever Kezza a length and a half away third. Over on the inside in fourth place is Mr. Cunifer as they near the 800. A bit more than a length then on the outside, Nakoni's boy just shading Geograph Bay. In behind them, Bella Luciani in the clear and then a length and a half further back, throw down back on the the outside of Scarlet Speedster and still whipping them all in is picture perfect. About seven from the leader which is Deputano as they hit the 500 mark. Deputano out by a length. Travelling second. Beanie now being stoked up. Mr. Kunifer looking to get out around their heels. Coming into the bend from Clever Keza. And then came Nakoni's boy Geograph Bay. Picture perfect. The favourite Stone Motherless last into the home straight by the 250. Deputano's got a kick. It's Deputano. He draws the whip. Races two in front from from Beanie Clever Keza, Mr. Kunifer, but Deputano's extending that lead, and this is going to waltz in. Deputano, much too good, ran away from them to win by more than two, Mr. Kunifer. Beanie third ahead of Clever Keza, and then throw down late. Picture perfect, never got warm. Further back, Geograph Bay, Scarlet Speedster. At the head of the others, Nakoni's boy, and the last of them to arrive is Bella Luciana. <coughs> Deputano has won the last of the day in a canter. The Lindsay Smith prepared filly by Verrazano has uh, walked in here, led, and uh, was pretty well rated by Brad, 137.69. He was able to take his foot off the gas a bit there through the middle, and this has kicked off the corner and just put them to the sword. Boy, what an emphatic victory over Mr. Cunifer. And uh, third will be five, uh, Beanie. And from what I understand, it, this is headed towards the Oaks through the autumn by Verrazano and out of a French deputy mayor. Why not? Deputano's second win in seven. Maiden victory came at Bunbury back there in uh, the latter part of the spring. And um, it, it raced forward there that day. Hasn't been able to get near the speed last two runs, but today it came out absolutely sizzling and uh, controlled the tempo. Beautifully judged front-running ride by Brad Parnham for Lindsay Smith. One by two and a half lengths, the next second and third, 137.69 the time there with that split of 34.57 by Verrazano from Divine Deputy for Mark Peaches, Scott A. Schultz, P. Ersig, W. Elder and R. Rogers. And has uh, come away with a really good victory in the last over the mile. Second placing, two number one, Mr. Cunifer by Blackfriars from Snacking. Raced by Liz Watkins and Maz Kudura. Prepared by Bruce Watkins, handled by Chris Graham. And five, Beanie weighs in third by Helmet from Fleeting Fantasy for Wesley John Cameron, D. Ashworth, W. Stackpole, J. Ben Dotty, S. Wilson, R. Hughes, P. Crooning, T. Bright, D. Nan Caro, B. Ashworth and P. H. Ashworth. Karen Kersley prepares, handled by Paul Harvey. Ten, one, five and six. Official there, the fave picture perfect. Back last in running and uh, never really got into the race at any stage of proceedings. Let's head down now into the yard for the final time for the day. Brittany Taylor joins us after that walk in the park for this filly who is at this stage being set for the WA Oaks. Deputato, a big win in the last. Wait, that's right, just a three-year-old filly but showed some class there. Now, she hasn't been jumping the last couple in Albany with the discussions with Brad pre-race just to make sure that he was on top of her in the gates. Yes, uh, he was told of what she's been doing in Albany and um, it, we knew if he got her out she was always going to be a chance so that happened today so we're pretty happy about it. Now we referenced it pre-race but the stable Twitter page it's always on fire and suggested that she'd return to her top. What indications were there at home that she was ready to really run a race? Uh, she galloped well on Saturday morning um, and we knew that uh, she'd be ready for today.
Darren just mentioned Oaks Bound. Is that the way that Lindsay's always seen this sort of horse? Uh, she may get there. Lindsay will reassess now after that win today. So anything's possible. We'll see. Congratulations on the win. Thanks. And we'll chat with Brad Parnham as he jumps off the scales. Brad, it was a, what instruction that was to get her out of the gates. You must have been happy when she was able to fly the lid. Yeah, I was pretty happy. Um, it obviously hasn't been getting out the best, so I just tried to keep on top of her and make sure she jumped. Um, I still didn't think I was going to be able to lead, but when I did find the lead, I was pretty confident. So I just knew this horse is a bit of a stayer, so if I just kept the pace rolling a bit and, and sort of let it slip from the 600, I knew it would be really hard to beat, and uh, yeah, it proved itself pretty good today. Were you trying to lock her down a little bit in those early stages? She just seemed to really want to run today. Yeah, well, just because it hasn't been jumping that well, I probably kicked it out a little bit stronger than I needed to. But uh, overall, I was pretty happy with the tempo we were setting. And uh, yeah, I was pretty confident sort of getting to that 800 and 600. With the oaks being floated as an idea, does the horse give you a feel that it would get the strength of an oak strip? I think it will definitely get the trip. Uh, you're obviously going to have some classy ones. Bob Peters has always got some classy horses, but... I think because of the fact that it can stay, it's probably worth heading that way and having a look. And yeah, I mean, apart from, you, you sort of get bobs and maybe one or two others, but apart from that, the field sort of drops away quite a bit. So we'll have a look that way and, and I think it'll measure up. And they're only three years old once, so you may as well have a crack as you say, well done. Thank you. Brad Parnham and Lindsay Smith combined to take out the last, it wasn't quite the $214,000 quaddy mark, but at $12 it would have been a very, very handy dividend. Yeah, certainly going to be around fifty or 60000 no matter what you had on it. Looking forward to Saturday here, we've got the Detonator Stakes Star Exhibit thrown in at the weights. He won this race last year, the two-time Perth Cup winner resumes here. There will be plenty of action on Saturday. Catch it all again on Sky Thoroughbred Central and thank you for your company throughout the afternoon. It's a very good evening.